So it may seem a little counterintuitive, but car insurance is actually really important for bicyclists. Uh, if you're riding your bike and you get hit by a car, uh, Obviously, if the other person, the driver of the car, has car insurance, that makes it straightforward. Their car insurance is generally, uh, if they're at fault, is going to cover uh, your injuries and whatnot. Where your car insurance comes into play, if you're riding a bike or a pedestrian and get hit by a car, is if the car and the driver don't have car insurance, your insurance can step in their place. Really where this pops up the most often is in two scenarios where your car insurance is going to be a factor. The first one is a hit and run. So if you're riding your bike and somebody in a car hits you and takes off, uh, you don't know who that person is, your car insurance can step in and will cover uh, your medical bills, your injuries. The second scenario where your car insurance might come into play is if you're hit by a car and that driver has no car insurance. You know, they, they hit you, they stay at the scene like a responsible driver should do. You know who that person is, they just don't have car insurance. In both of those scenarios, your car insurance can help out. I think most people don't understand that or don't realize that their own car insurance could be hugely important even when they're riding a bike or even if they're just a pedestrian. Uh, and I think the reason is when most people think of their car insurance covering them, it's they think of a car crash, like they're in a car. But the really, the driving thing is your car insurance will cover you if you're injured by another car. Whether you're in a car or not, if you're riding, a, like I said, if you're riding a bicycle or if you're a pedestrian, your car insurance can help out. Not only the two situations I said where if it's a, a hit and run situation or if the other person doesn't have insurance, but one important factor in your car insurance is you likely have what's called medical payment provision or med pay, which means even if the other driver has car insurance, your car insurance, the medical payment provision will pay up to a certain amount of your own medical bills. So you don't have to worry about submitting bills to your health insurance or getting doctor's bills paid right off the bat. An ambulance, an emergency room visit, a visit to see your own doctor. Your own car insurance, once you contact them, can pay the first amount, the first certain level of your own medical bills. So if you're riding your bicycle or if you're a pedestrian and you are involved in a hit and run situation, obviously the first thing you need to do is make sure that you get whatever medical attention you need. Um, beyond that, you absolutely want to make sure that a police report is filed. Uh, that's something that your own insurance will often require. Um, so contact the police, uh, make sure a report is filled out, give them as much detailed information as you can. If you're able, uh, see if there are witnesses there uh, that saw what happened. Um, the police may be able to do that, but they might not. Um, a good attorney, if you speak with one, will likely be able to send an investigator out, uh, take a look in the area if there are surveillance cameras, you know, whether it's uh, city you know, red light cameras or stores in the area. Uh, because especially in a hit and run situation, you want to be able to clearly document and prove that you were actually involved in a crash that was somebody else's fault. So some of the things we see, unfortunately, if we get a call from someone uh, that was involved in a crash where they're a, a cyclist or a pedestrian, is the biggest problem is they wait too long. Uh, most states have what's called a statute of limitations. It's basically a deadline to file a suit, uh, to file a lawsuit. Here in Illinois, for example, example, it's generally two years. There are some exceptions. Um, so I'd say if you're injured as a result of this, you want to contact an attorney. Uh, one of the other mistakes is if they know who the driver is, uh, not personally know, but they're able to identify the car, they don't end up getting a police report or they don't exchange information. Uh, if the car that hits you stops, 
like they should. Uh, you want to treat it just like as if you were driving a car and you were in a car crash. You want to exchange information, contact information, insurance information. You want to contact the police so there's a police report. Uh, get some pictures if possible. Um, and you may want to talk to an attorney if you're injured. So one thing that has recently uh, come up, I think most people are aware now of the sort of GoPro craze um, with cameras. This is a big issue with bicycles, especially because it's not uncommon for the driver of the car to blame you, the cyclist. It happens pretty regularly. Um, I think a lot of people, especially in cities, have a perception that cyclists are crazy, they're unsafe, they ignore all of the rules, and a driver is going to blame the cyclist. Something like a helmet camera, as odd as it may seem, can actually provide incredible evidence to actually prove that you as the cyclist, you weren't doing anything wrong um, and that the driver is the one clearly at fault.